Hi everyone, I'm Manuel Paes. I'm the DevOps Lead Editor for InfoQ. I'm also an independent IT consultant and co-author of the Team Topologies book. So if you haven't heard about InfoQ yet, I really recommend having a look. Um, we put out tons of uh, news stories, articles, presentations from multiple conferences, um, a lot of things to, to look at. So also at InfoQ every year or so, we ad update our topic graph for DevOps and cloud. So what this means, we're placing emerging uh, practices, technologies, as well as established ones in, into this adoption curve. So we look at the state of the practice of what's has been going on in the last year or so uh, around DevOps and cloud, what are the emerging ideas, approaches, uh, what we see becoming more widespread. And we get all this information from all the stories we publish and articles, as well as just leads we get from, from the other editors. So when you look at the, um, at the graph, you will see that techniques and practices on the left-hand side um, are emerging right now. So it's being used by innovators, early adopters, and that's where we focus most of our reporting um, so that we can bring to our audience um, the ideas that are coming up in the near to medium future so they can decide for themselves if there's something they should be exploring uh, now or later or they want to wait and see how they unfold if they become more widespread adopted uh, before they take a look but we focus mostly on this innovation uh, early adoption kind of practices and technologies so the report has um, shows some interesting conclusions takeaways obviously kubernetes has clearly won the the war let's say for the market in container or orchestration and it's possibly becoming like a cloud agnostic uh, abstraction for computing, uh, which means that the, the actual resources that we're using might be running actually on the cloud provider, multiple cloud providers, or um, on-premise as well. And uh, related to that, obviously, service meshes are a very hot topic as well right now. Something else that we see getting more attention is uh, focus on developer experience. So. How easy is it for our development teams to actually build and, and run and deploy their systems? Because the, uh, if we care about that, then we'll be able to make it um, easier to use, faster to, to get up and running our uh, changes and just overall uh, a better experience for developers. We've also seen chaos engineering becoming um, more widely adopted uh, in part because there are a couple, at least a couple or more of uh, companies who are developing tooling for this. So it's not only um, an internal thing from uh, Netflix and other organizations that have been doing it successfully, but it's actually becoming um, an area with an ecosystem of tooling and uh, more established practices that um, become easier to adopt, obviously. So this is within the innovator adoption phase. And we're also looking at the latest developments around edge computing machine learn inference at the edge and origin less computing uh, with a lot of interest. We'll see where, where that goes, but it's really blooming at the moment. So in about a year, perhaps less, we'll update the graph and we'll see uh, what has happened uh, from now until then. And so these are some of the highlights in this trend report. I really recommend that you have a look um, if you want to know what's, what's happening, what's coming, what has been um, become widely adopted in, in many organizations. And if you're not doing that, then, then perhaps that's where you should start uh, as an organization and then look at emerging trends, see what could bring the most benefit to you and so that you can then focus on that in the, um, in the near or medium term. So you can subscribe for notifications uh, every time we post something new by following the InfoQ trend reports on InfoQ. So there are reports uh, also for other areas um, like culture and um, machine learning, etc. So I hope you enjoy reading this report and make sure to leave any comments you have down below. We'd love to get feedback from the community on how we could improve, what is your opinion, uh, what, what could be uh, different in the graph. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.